What is going on, Cubs fam? We are back for another Galaxy of Heroes unfiltered whale chat. We have got the biggest whale chat yet today for you guys to discuss the latest, greatest galactic challenges content that we have received. The first content that we have actually received in Galaxy of Heroes in the entire year of 2020 all the way into August right now and I have not talked to these whales beforehand all of them some of them I have a pulse but most of them I have not spoken to them about what their opinion is on this event obviously the event has been met with a lot of criticism day one it is an exhibition event we will reiterate that this is an exhibition things are going to change hopefully they change for the better in a lot of ways, but we're going to introduce our guests right now at this time and uh, kind of get everybody's take on where this is at. And we have got, again, big group of people here today. Um, I'm going to introduce everyone top to bottom. Azrael is here from Team Instinct, definitely a resident, uh, I would say, decent caliber whale. How you doing, Azrael? Pretty good, Cubs. Thanks for having me, man. It's good to have you back. Not your first whale chat, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pump up your volume there. You're a bit quiet, uh, but that's that's on my end. So thank you very much for joining. Thank you again. All right, uh, you guys know Fulbright. He is maybe the most frequent attendee of the whale chat, uh, leader in Shadow the Shadowlands Alliance. Which, um, if I understand right, Fulbright, uh, you just uh, humbled uh, Azrael's guild in Territory Wars. Yeah, yeah, well, it was it was a, it was a close one, you know. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't the big TI. It was the little TI that Azrael was in for today, you know. Uh, but you'll and, take uh, it. It was, it was. We'll take it absolutely. There you go. You guys know Fort Mort. I brought him on the channel recently. A new creator for the game, kind of bursting onto the scene on Twitch. Um, I, and everybody who's who does content for this game, I'm going to leave links. A lot of these guys are doing content, so check that down in the comments below. Fort Mort, you're I would say a newer player to the game, but you're you're wailing a decent amount. Four point two million. I don't have a whole lot in there, but I've got some in there. You got 4.2 million and you're only, you've been playing for how long? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years, already to four, over 4 million. So uh, go check out his content. Good stuff. Thanks for coming on the whale chat today, Fort Mort. Thank you. And then you guys, oh, the Twitch family, you know the Sex Panther himself, Nem, who is joining us today for the first time ever from ANZGC. Nem, what's up, man? Hey, Cobbs, it's good to be here. Dude, love having you on here, and I'm going to say you're pretty decent. Well, you're getting a lot of love in the Twitch chat right now. Um, oh, definitely a, <laughs> the Six Panther. Um, that's his nickname on the channel, or NemVP. Um, you're, you're at over 7 million GP, so I'm going to classify you as a borderline Kraken. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, I'd say that. Uh, my, uh, my main is at 7.7, .7 and my alt is just shy of 6. Okay, okay, so very, very up there on the uh, spectrum. Quaid is in the same boat as Nem. I think you're in the 7 million GP range. Um, Quaid, also a, a guildmate of uh, Fulbright, been on the whale chats before. How you doing, Quaid? Hey, good, man. Yeah, 7.9, about to crack 8, but, you know, who's counting at this point? About to crack 8. That's uh, You're about to crack in uh, all the way up to 8. All right, thanks for joining us, Quaid. And then we got the one and only Sig Sig. Now, Sig Sig needs no further introduction. You guys know him as Swaga Events, doing some really phenomenal work for this game, uh, modding Reddit, uh, doing the Swaga Events page. He's even put together a, a Galaxy of Heroes TV website for all of the creators out there. And he's even our resident beta tester. Sig Sig, it's great to have you on the whale chat. How are you doing today? Hey, Cubs, doing good. Thanks for having me. Glad to have you. And, and you, you, you've you clarified to me, you are not yourself a whale. You are just a very committed player, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what's I'm your, not a whale. What's I your do, spending I, I, do, um, I spend, um, I don't know, 50 bucks a month, something like that, so... 50 bucks a month tops. Okay, yeah. so uh, that's that's a small dolphin uh, somewhere around there. Yeah. So we, we got the spectrum here of uh, lots of heavy spenders and some moderate spenders um, in, in the uh, chat right now. So let's get the conversation started off. Galactic Challenges hit, and the big common uh, feedback that everyone is giving, I think the, the most uh, aggressive feedback, shall I say, is related to the rewards 
for Galactic Challenges. So I want to start the conversation there. And Azrael, I, I want to start right at the tippy top with uh, with you at, at the top of the chat. How are you feeling about the community's feedback about rewards? Do you feel like it's accurate? Are you happy with the rewards? Are you not happy with the rewards? Where, where do you fall on this? Uh, I'm not happy with the rewards. Um, I'm on vacation right now, and you know I was so excited yesterday when the update came through and we were yeah. able to play it. And uh, then I finished everything on two accounts in under 25 minutes. So, I mean, it was like a big disappointment and I understand that it's like we're kind of like beta testing this for this month, but I feel like for as long as we they had to do it to release this just is not acceptable to me. Yeah, and I I, I keep coming back to this myself as well, you know, we, when I'm I've had lots of conversations on Discord and on Twitter and on Reddit and I keep coming back to, you know, it is an exhibition round, you know, a lot of this is subject to change, but you also can't discredit that after how many months, over a year really, of waiting for something new to play, this is our first exposure to it. It doesn't feel like a very strong impression. Would you agree? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it... Like, if they're just going to take all of our feedback and, like, go back to the drawing board for a couple weeks or even a month, that would be awesome. And that's just what I'm that's what I'm holding out hope for. And, you know, it, there's also a potential of these rewards are just kind of freebies because we essentially are beta testing it. And they have, you know, a data mine that was that new currency. You know, maybe mm. there will be a new currency in there. So uh, I do have hope, but right now, just for this, testing month or however long we're testing it i mean it's just kind of complete garbage well and if they do if that's if that's true i would be happy to hear that this is more just like freebies because they we are beta testing and the actual rewards are going to be much different uh please tell us that cg and tell us quick because uh, I'm, I'm in full panic mode about <laughs> about how garbage these rewards are in my opinion i'm and usually i i, I shouldn't interject too much of my opinion here because i want to get your guys's takes uh but uh but anyway that's that's where i'm at um uh, fulbright wh where are you at on the spectrum here we're just going to go all the way down on how everyone feels about rewards well, you know, it depends on how you look at it. If this is the final, the final version of what we're going to get, uh, and this is the difficulty level that it's going to be at, um, then for, and I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion, I, I totally know this, but if you are a humongous Kraken and you have a big, full, thick roster with lots of mods, all this is is just uh, an, an auto deal where you hit auto and you collect some free stuff that m may help you, may not. It, it's not, you know, it's really not that challenging um, if you have a big roster. And if you don't have a big roster, then this is would be really way too hard for the crap that they're giving out. That's mm. kind of the way I see it. So, so, so before people like start crucifying me in the comments, I understand if you have like a three and a half million or a four million roster, this is this is a tough event. And the rewards are not worth it. I totally get that. Uh, if you have a massive roster with everything, it's kind of underwhelming on the challenge aspect. But, you know, you can literally auto it all the way through to even the highest level to finish it. You can, uh, it's, it's easy to do. And yeah. so for the amount of effort you put in and for somebody that doesn't have to farm anything to get the rewards then it's not, you know, it's just kind of here's some daily freebies. Mm. You know, so it's it's kind of what, depends on what perspective you're coming from. So if I could you know, summarize it, what you're saying, I think I think I get what you're saying. I actually, at first my guard was up and I was thinking, uh-oh. I, I, I think I actually, what you're saying I think is pretty fair. You're saying for, from the top echelon perspective, the disappointment isn't necessarily the rewards because you don't have to work for this. So it's just auto- Take what they're giving yeah. you. All right, you know, I can use five Kyrotex. Uh, but the disappointment factor for you is going to be more related to this content isn't engaging me. This content is is easy. Right. It's it's not a challenge, and I'm over with it in, in a few seconds. And you also respect that for those that it is a challenge for, these rewards are not nearly worth the effort. 
Right. Would okay. I, if, if, I, I got to thinking to myself, if I had like a four million account or a three and a half million account or something like that or a two and a half million account, would I really want to stop farming meta stuff? Would I, would I stop, <laughs> want to stop chasing the meta to get these rewards? And the answer is a resounding no. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so if, if, if CG, if their goal is to try to get people to engage in a new, in a, in a new event, a new game mode, right? Then I would say that they have failed. If they threw something out there for everybody to just get some more free freebies on a daily basis, eh, it is what it is, you know? Eh, yeah, and that's, I don't think that, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, Fulbright, and we'll get to the rest of your takes here in the, in the chat. Um, but I don't think that we were expecting a autoplay freebie game mode. No, that's exactly right. I was expecting um, challenge because it's in the name. Yeah. So, <laughs> wow! How dare you expect that it lives up to its literal name? All right, Fulbright. Uh, I think that's a very good uh, take and uh, something uh, interesting highlight that I want to make from what you said is basically what you're saying is this appeals to nobody. The top right. echelon, it doesn't appeal to because the challenge isn't there. And the, the mid-tier to low-tier range, the rewards aren't worth the effort, and nobody's going to want to farm for it. And so it, they're not appealing to any of their, their player base, which is really exactly how I see it, and frankly shocking, yep. even yep. for CG. Um, Mort. Let's let's get to Fort Mort's take. Fort Mort, uh, how how do you feel about the rewards? Are are you agreeing with the chat here? Do you have anything else to offer? I think there's something everybody's missing. So I noticed it last night. There's seven tiers in here, and I'm on tier six with 120k Padme team and getting my face smoked. So for me, I'm going up against a relic team, and I'm getting gear twelve rewards. Mm. I don't need gear twelve. I need relic rewards. <laughs> if I'm fighting a relic character. I need relic rewards to beat that character. So I think each stage is needs to be improved. Like maybe stage four should be giving you G12, maybe five G12, and then six is relic rewards, seven's relic rewards. And daily would be nice because two or three for this, not it's not worth it. It's not worth the trouble right now. I mean, how much, yeah, something I was talking about on my stream yesterday was how long would it take me to spend crystals on energy and go get these exact same rewards myself from just farming nodes. And the answer is not very long at all. No. No, it'd be so much cheaper just to buy these things and get through it, without a doubt. Yeah. So they, they... It's, it, it's, not, it's not very fun. I, I just, I didn't find the fun in it. They, they have an opportunity. They said they're going to take our word and move on it. But I'm just, I'm not a fan of it, honestly. Okay. Yeah, and we'll, we'll talk about the fun factor um, here in a little bit as our kind of third area of emphasis and mm -hmm. a little preview of that. Something that I, I do want to get into is the promises that Capital Games made that we were going to be able to utilize our full rosters. And while that is technically true, is that actually really coming to fruition based on uh, the, the current look at uh, Galactic Challenges, which while there's a lot more coming and while this is an exhibition, this is all we have to go off of right now. This is their first impression and that's going to be pretty powerful. So, all right, uh, Nem, we've been, we, the whole chat's been waiting for you, Nem. The whole chat's been waiting to hear your take. Uh, where, where are you at on all this, Nem? Um, I, I kind of have to agree with Fulbright on it in that, you know, first we have to, to gauge, is this what the, the final iteration of rewards are going to be? Yep. Or is this just because this is the the testing for it? You know, they're just giving us something to test so that they can gain data and then, you know, adjust things as we go along. Um, if these are going to be closer to the main rewards, um, then, you know, they're, they're pretty bad. Um, <laughs> they're not, I mean, they're not the worst things there are. Yeah, I mean, if you defeat it, whenever you defeat the final tier, um, you do get some stuff like you do get some of the G12 finisher pieces, um, but it, it's not enough to really warrant a whole lot of push to mm. try to go for them. Um, so they're worth trying a couple times. And if your roster just can't do it, it's not worth really putting in the effort to do yeah, um, I, I, is my sort of takeaway from them. 
I like how you mentioned this. I'm gonna bring my game on the screen here. Uh, you mentioned the push, and I, I see people say, you know, this is this is a cash grab, and because they're including this, uh, obviously you've got the the feet here of um or the 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 uh, the relic five requirement, which is is the feat that gives you the only somewhat meaningful rewards for this whole thing. Uh, but the question that I I want to ask is if they are if they are uh, cash grabbing this, who who is actually going to push their roster? I mean, I I did because I was one relic level away from Bastila, and I wanted to show it on the stream. Otherwise, if I'm not a streamer, I I would not have bothered uh, wasting those resources for that. Who's going to make a push for this right here? So if it is a cash grab, it's a pretty bad attempt at a cash grab because I don't I don't see why anybody's going to make roster adjustments for getting 10 extra Kyrotex, 100 crystals, and some finisher salvage once a week. Yeah, I mean, I will say for this one, though, um, I'm sure a lot of players probably aren't terribly far off from Relic 5 with being Sith characters. For this um, one, just yeah. Just you figure, uh, a lot of people probably have uh, you know, if you have Darth Revan and Malak, you most likely have them to at least Relic 5, if not 7. Mm -hmm. um, same with, with Fallen Bastila. Uh, any more EP and Vader. You know, a, a lot of those Sith characters, people are already gearing up and relicking already. Um, so for this one, you know, uh, you might get a, some people that will try to push that one or two extra Relic levels in order to get it. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're not close to it, then it's really not worth the the whale on it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I, I think that's very very well said. Not worth the whale. And so once again, it's like I just I can't see who they are appealing to w with this content. It does like it's it the simple I think free to play perspective is to look at the relic five requirement and think oh it's a whale game mode but i just i don't even see how this is even appealing to 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 the whales out there so all right quade uh you, you've been sitting there patiently oh uh, how do you feel about the reward structure oh it's terrible like uh, <laughs> first of all like i don't know who's whaling out for this like really like who's gonna spend anything any time any energy yeah. any effort on this um which I think Azrael's right when he said this is a, we're just beta testing this without knowing it, right? Uh, because it's so bad. Uh, the rewards are bad. The theme of the thing is bad. The challenge is bad. It's so bad. If it was a movie, it'd be like Mystery Science Theater 2000. Movie, right? <laughs> no, so it'd be it, like it, Room. It, it'd be like Room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Room. There you go. Because it, it, it's, it has to be a beta test. There's no other explanation for it. I mean, um, look at this. Yeah, to, to reinforce what you said here, pulling this up again, this right here, calculated risk, is the most challenging feat in the entire thing, and they are literally giving away Mark One stun guns, and at that, only two of them. I have two characters in my roster that need this reward right now. It's level fifty Rose Tico, level fifty Han. They are yeah. gear one, and then the other right. piece of gear they're giving out four pieces. Ooh. And it is Mark 11 Blast Tech Weapon Mods, which I have 1,500 of, and there is not a single character in my roster that needs that gear right now. Not one. Right. Um, and also, like, they could have just said that, you know, but as CG normally does, we've been waiting on this for months and months and months. All this hype, all this attention, all this fanfare for this. Yeah. And it's like, wow dude but, wow. but if they had just said hey we're gonna do this event uh we're gonna put it out there and it's basically a beta test we're gonna yeah. work the kinks out work the bugs out and then in two weeks or a month you'll get the real thing that i would be okay with that but you know they don't say that so and I, i'm really desperately hoping that's what it is but even now where we sit because they haven't said that we that might not be the case. We we just we just don't know so i i think that's i think that's good feedback quade all right sig You've been sitting here. You've been sitting here <laughs> testing this game mode. You've been in the beta program. I know you can't say much about your your beta experience, but uh, how you feeling, man? How, how do you? We'll start with the rewards where everyone else is at. How you feel about the reward structure? Sure. Well, I think the lower level rewards are pretty bad. 
Um, the higher level rewards, I don't think are that bad. Um, if you could do them, what, what I don't like is the relic requirements. Um, I mean, if you could, if you could do those higher level tiers and let's say, let's say that this event runs every two to three days, which I think is what it's going to end up being at most five days. I mean, so you'd be able to do this event three to four times a month, yeah. potentially. Um, and if you're doing all six of them, I mean, that's a lot of rewards. So, yeah. I mean, you're, it, it's a running them back to back. So it just depends on how often they're going to run these events and, and the relic requirements are really the issue. Yep. And we're, we're going to talk about the, uh, the relic requirements, um, here with the feats, um, which that's probably a good segue to talk about that right now. Uh, but yeah, the, the rewards, um, right here, this, this group of rewards is worth playing for, in my opinion. Uh, once you can, you know, maybe if this was a daily thing, adding something like this w would be nice. Something else I would really like is the potential to earn something greater, um, over time. Maybe there's something you can play for, uh, once a week, uh, with a, a series of feats that connect to each other for so something fantastic that encourages you to interact with this game mode quite a bit more because for now once you get the rewards you're done now let's talk about these feats and i, I want to start it with what uh what sig said about the relic requirements and i'll let you kind of continue along this vein sig sig but i want to i want to highlight something that i think is very important here and probably one of the most problematic aspects of this is that feats are packaged as challenges challenges to force you to strategize to go out of the way to do something challenging, like calculated risk, complete the battle with an undersized squad. All right, maybe that's challenging. Maybe require specific units, do, do it with this unit, etc. But the only actual feat that is worth going for is also the feat that has the only meaningful rewards out of the entire event. And it's not even a feat. It is just a relic requirement. This is to me a relic five requirement is not a feat. This is this is saying farm your characters up more so that it's easier for you to to get it, and then we're gonna hide all of the rewards behind that, and then these other feat rewards are absolute trash. So how do you guys feel about this relic requirement and its place in in galactic challenges? Uh, Sig, we'll start with you. Uh, you. You've already kind of said that that's that's your problem. I'm gonna give you a chance to expound on it a bit. Yeah, I mean, what, what I what I think I would like is just it, for it to be a faction um, feat and, and get rid of the relic requirements. I mean, if they want to have you, you know, use this specific faction to accomplish that feat, get the rewards, um, yeah. you know, and, and do it at the gear you could do it. I, I think that would be a good, you know, I think that would end up being a good result. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, let's just open it up for anyone who wants to join this now. We don't need everyone to speak on every every subject. And now that you've all had something to say, uh, who else has something to add to that? Jump on in. Oh, I can add something for you, Cubs. <laughs> um, <laughs> Evil laugh. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. I, I don't see it necessarily as a feat. I see it more as a gift. Um, where you know the people that have already welled up and relicked up everything um it's just like here's some freebies for you um and uh, again the rewards as they stand today you know are not good enough for anybody to purposely want to relic up their characters just to get that right. so to me it's more just like here's some freebies for some people who have already done this um i i see it that way um i the thing that I was disappointed with, I was kind of hoping that whenever we, this was all explained and introduced, was that the modifiers, like the like the environmental modifiers and stuff, were going to have a much more dramatic effect than what they do. Mm. That way, it, it would kind of force you to try, to have to use certain factions and really make it challenging, so you could quote unquote use your whole roster. You know. Uh, but I mean, come on, if you want, you know, if you can take a solo SLKR and hit auto and go through every tier, no problem. And it knocks out defeating it plus the undersized feet, you know, come on. That's a joke. Yeah, that's a joke. Okay. okay. And I think Nemesis was wanting to go next. He unmuted right as soon as I did. So. 
Go for it, Nem. Yeah, I think my problem with the feats is that they're bland. I mean, yeah. if you think about it, ev every single one of the tiers, it's the same exact feat, except they change the, the requirement for what you need for the Sith one. But other than that, all three were the same exact thing. It's defeat it with five Sith, do it undersized, and do it without losing a character, are the three feats for literally every single one of them. <laughs> Why... You mean to tell me you couldn't do different feats for each one of them? I mean, it or come up with that, something other than undersize, <laughs> right? I mean, that's the and that's the thing. We have that feat in GA all the time with doing undersized yeah. battle. I mean, the the feats weren't imaginative enough, and they were just straight throughout the whole entire thing. And I think that's the issue with the feats. Yeah, and it does. It doesn't feel like they're they're even really, th I guess, that much of a challenge. The only one that seemed challenging to me was again the undersized one, which if you have Galactic Legends, I don't think is going to be much of a challenge. But for me, my roster, that's probably going to be a challenge. But you know, I'm playing for Mark One stun guns, so why do I want to do that challenge? So good, good, good perspective. Uh, Nem, any anyone have anything else to add on the feats? Yeah, I think. Uh, well. We're playing the Sith one. You know, we're using Sith for offense right now, yeah. right? Obviously, we're going to different planets. Now, if, even in this room, like, let's just say the next one is we're going to Hoth or something, and we have to use Imperial Troopers. I don't even think everyone in this room has Imperial Troopers above Relic 5, let alone Rebel Fighters or whatever else, Ewoks or something. So I feel like they could get harder, especially with, you know, limitations if you're trying to complete all the fleets. But, I mean, we are talking about just the Sith, which we pretty much all have relicked up for Arena or some portion of the game. Even those with lower GP, you know, when they get their tray or their relic in it and stuff like that. So, I mean, I, I, that's why I want to see the rest of the the rest of the month out before we make a, you know, a big uh, decision on that. Yeah, and look, look at it, this right here. We've got, um, so here, I'm bringing this on the screen right now. Here are the um, the different tiers or different events that we've got coming. Um, we're going to be using Separatists. We're going to be using Sith. So I think Separatists and Sith, uh, a lot of people probably have them farmed up. Bounty Hunters, maybe. Empire, Old Republic, and Rebels. Uh, barring those who are Krakens, um, I do not think that very many people are going to be having Relic 5 characters for all these. I know I looked at my Empire, I had three that were even relic Bounty Hunters, I've, I've actually got a pretty good Bounty Hunter team, but I don't have that fifth. Um, so those, those two feats are going to be, you know, assuming they're the same, are going to be worthless to me. Old Republic, I only have a few, and, and Rebels, I only have a few personally. And so Sith is, is literally the only one where I'm, I'm going to be eligible to actually receive those, those rewards. So I think that's, I think that's a good point, uh, lo looking ahead. But we will have to wait and see exactly uh, what, what those end up being. Anything else to add on the feet subject before we uh, move on to the fun factor? Okay. I think I think we've covered feats. Uh, definitely fill up. Uh, th there's a lot of uh, strong feelings on this, and so uh, be sure to share your comment. It's down in the, down below. Uh, everyone watching this video on how you're feeling about the feats. So I, I want to open this up and talk about the the enjoyability of the event uh, as it relates to the environmental factors, as it relates to the buffs and debuffs that are coming at you, the replayability, um, and uh, the, the I guess the, the area I want to start this question, I, I want to ask a specific question is, I, I think what I was looking forward to most about this event and kind of why I was, I guess, not, I wouldn't say defending, but um, being optimistic, uh, aggressively optimistic about it was, the notion that CG shared that you would be able to utilize your entire roster uh, for the event, which sounded extremely exciting to me to have something where you could use your whole roster and use it and do re replayability and all of that. Do you guys feel like Capital Games lived up to their, with what we're seeing so far, their promise that this is 
something that allows you to utilize your whole roster. Outside the fact that, by definition, you can go on with anybody. Does this feel like they've realized that, that promise? Quaid? Yeah, so, I mean, you can use all five of your top five characters. I mean, you can use all of them if you want. So I really feel like they've, you know, laid the gamut down. <laughs> I mean, no, like, it's, it's that's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean... Um, I was leaning in like, I feel like there's a catch to what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, wow. Like Fulbright said a while ago, you can use SLK and auto the damn thing. Um, so, and even if you're, even if you're a lower GP person, you're not using your whole roster. You're using, you're still going to use your top squad. Um, and let, let's, let's back up here on this whole fun factor. They launched this thing on Tatooine fighting Grievous. I mean, if you don't get enough fighting separatists and Grievous and TB, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've had enough of that. If I see Grievous one more time, I'm probably just going to chuck the phone. But um, <laughs> and, and then like the environmental factors, like I was a, under the assumption that it would mean something and that you would have to use characters like like as said a while ago, like if they went to Hoth and you had to use Imperial Troopers and, and Rebel Fighters, that that is using logic. To, for it to make sense in a theme and this makes no sense you're on tatooine you're fighting separatists and you got to use sith like it feels like they threw spaghetti on the wall and were like yep that'll work that'll work um you know it's like you could have had jawas you could have had what if we were fighting you're on tatooine what if we were fighting an army of of tuscan raiders you know and you had to use your jawas or you had to use you know, a farm boy Luke or something, you know, that would at least be fun um, and challenging, but you know, they didn't do that. Um, that that's my take on it. Hmm. I, I think, I, I, I think I can see that. Cut. Oh, Fulbright, you're, you're glitching out. Give me just a second here to, to catch up with you. Or you could say, say it one more time. Oh, can you not hear me? Nope. We're good now. You were, you were glitching out for a second, but you're good oh. now. Well, no, no, what I was going to say is it, what they should have done with this challenge deal is exactly what, like what quite said. It said if we're, you, we're, you could only complete the highest tiers by using a certain faction, you know, type of deal. Where in the lower tiers, yeah, you can probably get through like one, two, three, and four using whatever you want in your roster. Yeah. But then make the, the, the environmental modifiers and stuff so difficult that Sith would get totally destroyed if, that wasn't, if it wasn't their, their game. So right. you would have to use the Hoth Rebel Soldier and Hoth Scout to get through it or something to that effect to get to the very top level. That's what I was kind of hoping on myself. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if it's going to be every time it opens up, you can just use your absolute best squad to, to get through it. Eh, that, that's kind of crap. You know, uh, if you want somebody to actually have a player versus environment type game, kind of like TB... You know, I mean, hell, TB's more challenging than that was, you know, than what, you know, I mean, it is so far, you know, so to me, like, make it very specific where, yeah, you can use your whole roster, but to complete level six and seven, you have to have the, a specific faction where the modifiers totally take over to, you know, to where that's really the only way you're going to get through it and get, get the feats done. That would be fun. That would be challenging. And then make the reward structure high enough to where it encourages people to actually want to try to do it. They promised a puzzle. They, they promised yes. a puzzle. And uh, while I did enjoy the battles to some degree, I don't really see a puzzle here. And I, I, w something else I was really hoping for is when we get new content like territory battles, there's specific um, nodes where we got to strategize to beat it, right? Like the Acklay. For example, there's a strategy to that, or or the Sith raid. You know, there's strategy to beating certain phases of the Sith raid and and getting high damage scores. Uh, opportunities for the community to come together and put their heads together and go, all right, how do we beat this? We got a week where this is open. How are we gonna beat this? What what, what are the best team comps to use? But instead, there, there's none of that. They've snowballed us into, if you want to get the rewards, you just have to use five Relic Sith characters, and it'll be easy if you got five Relic Sith characters. 
and call it a day. And so I think I think that on the fun factor, that hits on maybe one of the most important issues for the enjoyability of this game mode is that there there really is not a puzzle. There's nothing to really strategize for here. And I don't think it's too much to ask for a str strategic challenge. Um, something like what we got with the Malik event, for example, where there's a specific pattern that you have to go through to beat this. It took us a while to figure yeah. it out. Once we figured it out, there's lots of strategy videos. You know, you guys over in Shadowlands, you've got a million people on voice chat talking through people and helping them learn the patterns and that kind of thing. It's just, it's really well, disappointing that we don't see anything like that, in my opinion. Well, Cubs, you remember how, how fun you, how much fun you had with the, uh, using the Ewok. <laughs> Try to get the C3PO. Yeah, I was I was on voice <laughs> chat on the Shadowlands server with you. <laughs> there was there was a strategy to it. It required a very specific faction. You know, um, it was fun. Once you figured out how to do it, it was fun. You know, and that's kind of what I was hoping this was going to be with something similar like that, similar to that. Obviously, um, and so far it has it. To me, it's kind of very unimaginative. Imaginative, to be honest with you. Definitely unimaginative. I, well, I, I think I think that you know potentially, and this is hope that tier seven. It, it when I think of tier seven, I think the last round. What I picture in my head is phase four. If anyone's seen phase four of the new light side TB, which is just a nuts hardened difficulty level, right? Or right. like the new tier three challenges. I can tell you that if they put like a new currency in there or like a, a new store with a new character and they're going to require Re relic five empire to, or what, you know, and all the other factions to get, you know, to beat that tier seven or underman it or to get the feed or whatever people are going to spend. They just didn't make this game mode just to give, give us something for free. We all know that. And I think that that's probably, you know, where it's headed and, and, as much as we're sitting here complaining about it, they may just want us complaining about it so that, that when they crank up the difficulty to that level, they're like, well, this is what you guys asked for. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Good, good point. That's good a good point. point. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I would say the, the kind of difficulty that bothers me is the kind of unimaginative crap where it's like, like in a lot of light side territory battles, the, the difficulty is just a matter of, for a lot of battles, you need to have relic characters. That's all that matters. You just got to wail harder, and then you can beat it. The kind of difficulty that I quite enjoy, and that I think this game needs a hell of a lot more of, is the kind of stuff like the Malik event, where it's like, okay, yeah, you need a certain threshold. You need a certain threshold. But if you don't strategize... If you don't learn how to play this event, you're not getting anywhere in it. You you need to know how to play this event. You need to learn. And and that to me is I think when when we're talking about um a lack of uh, uh challenge, that's what we're talking about. We're not talking about well we we want to be able to be forced into only using relic 7 characters here. That's that is not what the community wants. The community wants something strategic. Something that makes you use your brain, not your wallet, only. And it's got to be fun. I mean, like, with this on Tatooine, imagine if they had done it where um, it's episode four and you're farm boy Luke and you got to get through an army of Jawas and Tusken Raiders to mm -hmm. get R2-D2 and C-3PO. Like, wow. at least it would be fun. It would have a theme. Or, or... You're uh, you got to use Jedi, Jedi Knight Anakin and you got to kill a bunch of Tuscan Raiders, you know, uh, yeah. and sa save his mom or so, you know, like make it fun. It, it's ridiculous. They come out with these new game modes and it's like it's so bland. Yeah. And I, I really feel like uh, something that just can't be overstated is this is the only thing that they've basically done in 2020 for the entire year. And I do not feel like it is in the least bit unreasonable to expect what you guys are asking for right here. After a full year of what exactly. So, all right. I want to give everyone a chance to give their top 
feedback. Top item of feedback. You all get one, and then we're going to get into the Q&A from the chat. Toyota, I want you, you're in the Twitch chat right now. I want you to get four questions ready. Uh, for the, well, actually, let's do let's do one for everybody. We got one, two, three, four, five, six um, on the panel. So let's get six questions, Toyota. Everyone will take one, and we'll just go down the line. Uh, be, but before that, we'll start with Sig Sig. Number and, and we'll go all on up through everyone. What is your number one item of feedback to give CG for Galactic Challenges, Sig Sig? I mean, I, I feel like everybody's gonna have similar feedback, but I mean, you have to work, rework the rewards in some way. Whether it's, you know, give lower tiers a little bit better rewards, give some sort of base reward at the higher tier, change the feats, like something has to happen there. Okay, good feedback. Quaid? Um, make it interesting. I mean, just make it fun. Like, the, the rewards need to be there, but at the same time, you people have to want to do it, right? Mm. So, put some, uh, it is a game after all, make it fun. <laughs> This is a, wait. This is a game. I'm sorry. I'm not understanding what you mean. It it is supposed to be a game <laughs> where you have fun. But I thought it was just a pit to throw your money in. Now, <laughs> yeah, we're eight months into the year, and this is what they got. So that's amazing. All right, Nem. Uh, Quaid took mine. I was going to say they got to make it more interesting. Um, it just seemed really flat overall, and it, it needs to to have a little bit more excitement in it. Yeah, and and something I would add to that a little more excitement. Well, another way to do that that I'm doesn't really add to the strategy at all. But I'm really shocked that the the event has five year old environments being used um, that, that we're playing in. Why why are why, why did we not have any new environments? I just that, that kind of also blows my mind that they didn't add any any new visual flavor to it. Or so. why is it a Death Star picture, but we're fighting separatists? <laughs> uh, I, I got nothing for you, Nem. Got nothing for you. Uh, okay, Mort. Number one item of feedback. Sorry, uh, having mic issues. I think I had two open. I apologize, guys. Uh, you good? So for me, for me, like I said earlier, it's the rewards. But I'm going to tell you what. And that bores me to death is why am I playing Grievous seven times? I, I'm good that we don't have stages, but how about giving me different teams to attempt every time? Mm. That's that's my thought. Yeah, outside the rewards. Okay, well, then I think it's very fair, very fair, especially for those who want to play up through all of them, uh, which is something that uh, most unfortunately you can do in a matter of ten minutes tops. Fulbright, number one item of feedback. Well, if they're not going to make any changes, then I just ask that they. Add them at a multi sim button so I can just throw it in there like the daily challenges to get the stupid shit I don't really need that much of anyway already. So that's all I ask. If they're not going to make it fun, they're not going to make it interesting. Put a multi sim button on it. That I second that. If I second that, if it stays as it is, all they've done is they've created another galactic war. That's it. That is the most depressing thing you guys have said all day because you're not wrong. I just, it's, it's phenomenal to me. It's just amazing that we would mention a need for a sim button on the first day of this brand new content because of how bland it is and because of how bad the rewards are. Good grief. Okay. Um, Azrael. Um, I think that they should tie it back into your daily activities, like they first said. So that it would increase the overall activity in this game. Say you had to get your 600 for it to even open. That's what they were talking about from the very beginning. Right? That brings more competitive players. It gets people logging into their app daily if they want to do this. And um, I think by doing that, you're going to get more involved players to play this game mode. And uh, at that point, you know, you can make it a little harder. Hmm. Um, interesting. I'm going to disagree. I, I don't like that feedback personally, but you're, you're entitled to your opinion. I, I would not want to have to do something to get into this. Uh, but that, that's just my take. But I see what you're saying. You know, you want to get more people playing it. So, all right, Toyota, let's go ahead and let's get some questions queued up. Now, how this is going to work is everyone gets a question. Nobody else gets your question. So nobody break the rule. And we're going to give brief responses to these questions. Try to keep it to under 30 seconds to a minute tops. 
And Azrael, since you just went, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Toyota's got question number one. All right. What if they did something? Here's This is for you, Azrael. Okay. This is from the Grand Admiral, by the way. What if they did something like pick your leader to go against, and they gave you like three to four main leaders uh, from the game, and then randomly fill four spots from the faction as a leader to then go against some random separatist team? Do you think that would be interesting? No. I mean, I think part of it would be, I mean, I like, you know, I spit, I choose where I spend my money, and some people have characters geared up, and others don't geared up. So, right. what if they randomly choose your l uh, level one Poggle or something? No way. That that would be a horrible idea. All right, not, not mincing words. Okay, Toyota. Next question. Hit us with the next question. Uh, this one is going to go to Fulbright. Um, that was a very quick answer, so I don't know if Toyota's quite ready for the next question. We'll, we'll wait here for just a little bit for, uh, for him to queue up the next one. I got all day. We're good. You, <laughs> you got all day. Yeah, you, you, could, you could be in there playing uh, Galactic Challenges because it's so, uh, so much to do, but uh, you, I guess well, you're probably already done with that, aren't you? Since he yes, has sir. a little bit more time, I'll, I'll, I'll give you why I was said that. So let's just say we're using Jedi, and they randomly fill in Jedi, and I get, I'm a Gundine, uh, Plo Koon, and I don't know, another one of the Hor Jedi Guardian. You know, even if I had Revan with, is the leader that I got to pick from, I'm probably not beating any anybody with that squad. Right. So, I mean, it would be super challenging. I guess that would not. The, uh, the the fun part of it, but uh, yeah. it's just not something that I would probably support. All right, uh, next question. Um, let's go ahead and have Fulbright do this one. And Toyota, go ahead and get the next question queued up. Uh, Fulbright, this is from P. Yep. Dubes. Will CG have us use ships for galactic challenges? If so, how do you feel about that? <laughs> well, thank you for the question, P. Dubes. Um, I would say that uh, I would love for them to actually do a ship challenge. Um, I think that uh, the fleets no. uh, are one of the most underused uh, parts of the game. Um, where, you know, if they could set it up where it had different mechanics, especially, I think the ships would actually benefit from having an environmental uh, issue and having, um, you know, the faction buffs. Um, I would actually think that would be a lot of fun. Um, okay. You know, I think that would actually be something that would be more challenging than what we have now. Because each one of the ship, if you think about it, each of the fleet factions has certain strengths and weaknesses. And what, the one of them is really not super dominant. Mm. So you could easily throw in a couple of modifiers to really make it fun and challenging. Okay. So I think that that w would probably be a good way for a CG to go would be to develop something like that um, because it would encourage people to focus more on fleets. Um, and since, you know, you don't have like a galactic legend fleet, yeah. you know, where they're all pretty much fairly similar, you know, fairly equal in strength uh, for the most part. I mean, obviously, you know, it depends on who you're going against. But yeah, that would actually be kind of fun. I like that idea a lot, personally. All right. I hate it, but that's just because I hate ships. Uh, nothing else. All right. I don't have another question from Toyota, but this one caught my eye. I think it's pretty good. Um, uh, this is from PWW Daniel, and he asks, this is for Fort Mort, um, if the content was all like this, and if it began to slow and stop in the next year, would you stop playing the game or just play it out of habit? Uh, I will say, uh, full Brad, I'm with you on the ships, by the way. I love them. I don't think they do enough with it. And to answer that question, yeah, I'd still be playing the game. So I love this game, and I play it because I enjoy it. Um, I try to be actual an actual advocate of CG, even though, you know, we all do that. Damn it, CG. Damn it, CG. But Yes, we do. I, I try to be the positive guy with it. Uh, I know some of us are negative on that side, and that's fine because we all got our views. But I, if I don't enjoy the game, I'm going to quit. So I have to find ways to enjoy it no matter what they do. Um, and it's so funny the way you said spaghetti earlier. I thought it, it reminded me of your first <laughs> whale chat. 
<clears throat> so yeah, thank you, Dana. But I, I, all day long because I find ways without GAC though. Yeah, I think I'd be a collector again. Yeah, and I I want to call out and kind of clarify what Fort Moore is saying here because I it would be easy for some people to say, oh well, Fort Moore, you're part of the problem because you're gonna play no matter what. I think it's important to to emphasize that uh, those of us here. We love Galaxy of Heroes for what it is. We do want more, and we want to push for more, and we want more content, and games like this deserve to have more content. But there's enough in this game right now that I still will keep playing the game in spite of being frustrated that CG can't add anything meaningful new to it. Grand Arena and Territory Wars and this community is enough to keep me here, uh, but that's not going to be enough to keep everyone here. It's going to be enough to keep the most hardcore players here until the end, but if they want to keep this game interesting uh, for new players, appeal to new people coming in and appeal to, uh, you know, a, a wider range and a, an audience that's going to keep the game alive for a long time, that's why we want to see more content, not just for us, but for for the uh, longevity of this game. All right, well said, Fort. Uh, okay, uh, Nem, you're up next, uh, the Sex Panther himself. Here's a question from uh, Papa Kadakalo. He says, they said this is only a limited number of feats. If they add five to seven more feats with each with, each with different rewards and we get um, these events every two days, how will that make you feel? That's a good question. Uh, and the answer is, I mean, I think I would be happier because it would definitely give me more to do with it. Yeah, um, but I think it it depends on it goes back to what feats are they adding, right? Um, are they just going to add the same thing across all the tiers <laughs> yeah. because then it gets boring? Um, but if the feats are going to be different for each different tier and they're going to to change it up, um, maybe make them even replayable after twenty four hours, you can attempt them again. Yeah, I, I think that would definitely make things a lot better. Um, so it really depends on how they plan to. Re release those new feats and, and what they plan to do with it. But I think that, you know, if they do it the right way, which is fingers crossed, but I'm not going to hold my breath, um, that it, it could make this, this a lot better of a mode than what it currently is sitting at. All right. I, I think that's very well said, Nem. Thank you for perspective. Uh, Quaid, and then we got one more question for Sig after that. Um, this one comes from Phoenix Reborn for Quaid. What if they made it like the journey guide? Like they add all of the events and challenges released at once. They have okay rewards, but you can do, get them daily again. Uh, oh God, I hope they don't do that. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, I, I, that sounds terrible. Look, I mean, they just got to make, uh, they just got to make it interesting. They got to put some good rewards out there. I don't know. This isn't hard. Like, I'm not a game developer, right? But, like, to me, this is not hard. Like, shouldn't be hard. If it's this hard, there's a problem. If it's this hard for a developer, mm. a game developer business with a billion-dollar game mm -hmm. to come up with a new galactic challenge that engages people, if it's this hard, I, something's wrong. Uh, yeah. And also, like, the earlier question about if the content slows down, I think we're seeing it. We're eight months into the year, uh, and this is what they got. I mean, if it continues like this, if you go a full year with this, and, and maybe even 18, you know, you go into like 18 months, I mean, yeah, you're going to see people quit the game just out of boredom. Yeah, and I think we're absolutely getting there. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times they, they release an update. I see people say, this is my last straw. I'm out. I'm unsubscribing. Sorry. See you later. And uh, we, we've seen that more than ever right now. So, yeah, like if you if you have a pet, you have any pets? Yeah. Okay, so if you don't feed that pet, <laughs> that pet will die. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got to give them something. Got to give them something. All right, last question is going to go to Sig Sig. I don't have one from Toyota yet, so we're gonna stall harder until we get that last question. Uh, for you, Sig. We're saving the best for last, Sig. Sig, because you 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 are the beta tester, and so you you've got the the crystal ball here. All right, here it is. Toyota says, um, oh wait, okay. How would you fix the reward tiers to make it more worth it? There we go. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of talked about that. Um, you know, e- either give some sort of base rewards for beating every tier, um, or change the the uh, the the feats so that it doesn't require relics, you yeah. know, or, or have different feats or something like that. I mean, it's got to be something else. I mean, especially the lower tiers. I mean, those are pretty bad. So I mean, <laughs> I, I'm just not in. And the other issue is like, why why are you even doing the lower tiers? Like, there's a I th- so when they announced this mode, they said it was going to scale, right? They said this is a scalable mode. So I kind of thought this was going to be more like Galactic War or something like that, where it scales along with you. I think what they really meant was like they can scale it, but it's like we basically have seven tiers, and these are the seven tiers we're going to do until they add more tiers, just like Assault Battles. Mm. So it's like, it, I just don't see how this like mode moves forward, I guess. And and, and yeah, so there's a, there's a lot of thoughts I have about this whole mode, but... Um, but it's a little it's a little not what I was thinking. I thought it was gonna be like a tower mode, you know, something like that where it's like something that you're going through and you're doing and so this is just like go do whatever tier you want and you get some bad rewards. So Man, it's well the the mood is sad. Um I, I wanna thank <laughs> all of you guys for taking the time to join me for the whale chat today. I think uh, something something I just wanna call out here about this, just to get I I, I talked to all of the all of these uh, awesome people on a pretty regular basis. And I'm not going to say I brought on some CG apologists or anything like that. But I brought on some pretty big optimists today, Cubs fam. I brought on some people who are big optimists for this game. And I, I'm not hearing a lot of optimism here today. And so I think CG, you've got, if you're watching this video, um, I know you don't give one poop about what I think, but I think you should care about what these guys think. And I do think that there is a lot of reevaluating that must happen uh, for Galactic Challenges to be a success. And furthermore, for you to convince people who have been playing this game for three, four, and sometimes five years that this game has a future because it, it looks, as, as the late Urzatron would say, it's problematic. All right, everyone. Thanks again for joining me for the video. Drop a like if you did enjoy it and a W in the chat for all of our lovely guests who joined us today. And as always, my brothers, don't forget.